Hi, welcome to the Louis File. Been doing a little bit of uh, study in the First Corinthian letter here lately, and uh, when you come up on chapter three, you see where the Apostle Paul tells them that uh, he couldn't speak to them as to spiritual. He had to speak to them as just mere men. You know, he's basically telling them that they're they're not uh, they're not operating in the spirit really. They're acting like carnal people. And he says, I could only give you milk and not the meat. And he said, if basically he's saying, if you don't believe me, then just look around. He said, the reason I know that you're immature and carnal is because there's quarreling and there's jealousy amongst you. He says, one group of people says, I follow Paul. Another group says, I follow Apollos. And another one says, I follow Cephas. And, you know, I mean, so he's, he's clearly seeing that they are siding up with human teachers Whereas what he wants them to do is all to learn to walk after the Spirit. And he says, who is Paul and who is Apollos? And how he, he makes the point that one person plants and another one waters. And uh, as I looked into this, uh, the way it struck me was, <clears throat> sometimes we have one person that has the gift of evangelism, and they plant a seed, and then they move on. Their job is done. But then someone has to come along behind that uh, person to water and care for the plant. And that would be the teacher. So we have an evangelist comes around, plants a seed, shares the gospel, he leaves. Well then, the teachers have to come in and do their role and their job. But there's no room or need for jealousy between the planter and the waterer. Paul says that he and Apollos were one. It doesn't matter about who planted and who watered. We're, we're still one. And he says, <clears throat> ultimately, the point here is <clears throat> God is the only one that can make it grow. So who are we to fuss and fume with each other? We just do our individual roles. We just fulfill what God has called us to do in, uh, in his kingdom, and we let him pro provide the increase. I love that because it sets me free from trying to compete or having to compete with other people. I just do what God's called Louie to do. I had a friend of mine, he says, I just, I just hoe my row. <laughs> if, if this is all a big garden, you know, Paul said that we are his field. We're God's field. So I might be in charge of the corn and you might be in charge of the soybeans, but the soybeans are your business, not mine. So I don't try to get over there into your row and plant corn in your soybeans or try to harvest your soybeans. I just, I just keep track of my row if it's corn or tomatoes or whatever it is. And, uh, and I leave the growth to God and I, and I leave you to God. Isn't that great? All right, so I just thought I would share that uh, with you. And uh, whatever God has called you to do, just, just do your role and don't get distracted by what other people are doing. Just, you just fulfill the role you have and what, and the job you're called to. And uh, God will provide the growth and the, uh, he will produce what it is that he wants to produce in and through you. So until next time, adios.